Shalom. All praises, honor, and glory go to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai, Basham Kadash. Double honor unto the apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone, the Ruel, and the Tholos is truth, among many other things. And salutations to all the sincere Achim out there that are doing the work, spreading this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth to help to wake up the hopeful elect, you know, the true Hebrew Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the true children of Israel that the Bible speaks of, man. We're not a bunch of bywords. We are the true children of Israel. You know, to all y'all brothers and sisters out there, the Akim and the Akwachon, you know, Shalom. All right, you just saw like um, a video, you know, brother, send a video uh, in the chat, in the group chat. And I was like, hey, <laughs> this is uh, this is a heavy, heavy judgment because I already made a video about, uh, you know, how the Lord is visiting this earth, like in uh, second Exodus, the, the ninth chapter. But let me just jump off here. Isaiah 29 and 6, thou shalt be visited of the Lord, Yahweh of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest, and with the flame of devouring fire. So all these things that you're seeing, you know, forest fires and all types of stuff happening, floods, you know, tsunamis, you know, uh, and the, the storms, you know, rains everywhere. People f uh, get, you know, flushed down their own uh, streets. Sharks swimming in the street like in the islands. There's some crazy stuff uh, was going on, man. So there's a lot of things that the Lord can do, man. And it's a very fearful thing to fall into the hands of uh, uh, the living power, man. Let me just get that in. Uh, because the most I can take you behind, boom, out of here, man. Back into the spirit, the spirit realm, man. So this is uh, Hebrews chapter 10, verse, uh, what was this again? Let me go down. Because the most high, man, he ain't playing around. And we're living in the time wherein... The Lord is judging a lot of people, man. So if you're proud and all that and you, you don't fear the Lord, you're going to find out. You're going to fear the Lord, man. You know, you, you just watch, I just watched a video from the elder man of the Zakwa concerning these females that are standing up there with their guns. And, you know, <laughs> that ain't going to do a damn thing, man, in the day of trouble, Jacob's trouble, because you're fighting an enemy which is blessed with just that, with the weapons, you know, with the with the sword, you know, all that feminism energy is going to be real, real, uh, you know, it's going to hit the door real quick in the day of trouble, man, when the police starts to, you know, put down the badge and be like, the hell with this, when there's total, you know, anarchy out there. People just seeking how to survive. So in that day, you ain't gonna be flexing uh, like that on on because there's no internet. The internet is gonna go, man. You know they're gonna, they're gonna come for us, of course. The men of the Lord Yahweh desire the prophets of the Lord Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai because we are destroying this kingdom through the word of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. Before the actual physical destruction will come upon the people and the earth is going to be cleansed and it's going to be put in the state that it needs to be in according to the will of the Lord, man. So Hebrews 10 and 31, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, Yahweh, because the Lord, he knows your fears. He knows how to take you out, man. He can humble you real quick. So, now we you see all the storms and all the things uh passing, you know, people getting struck. This is not a, a, a you know a jokingly matter. This is death. 
freezing. So, let me get this out of here. So, yeah, I was there anyway. But here, let me jump into this. Uh, Job 38 and 25. Who, when the Lord was talking to, uh, to Job and basically, you know, showing his greatness, man. Because who is the one that controls the wind? And with that, also makes the rain fall down. Because there's a lot of scriptures in the book of Isaiah and the book of Job that show you how great the Lord is, that he controls the weather, man. Even though he might have Esau with his harp system, but who's the one that allows uh, these things to happen? You know? If you read the sub, it goes into the Heavenly Father, Yahweh challenges Job to answer. You know? It goes into the Heavenly Father's mighty works. You know, and convinced Job of his ignorance. You know, so... <laughs> it, 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 you know, and even I was laughing because and of uh, imbecility. You know, so let me look that up here. Imbecility. Imbecility. Great stupidity, stupidity of foolishness or um, stupidity, silliness, subnormality, slowness. That's the, that's the, let me see here, senselessness, you know, basically, what, what are we in the eyes of the Lord, man? The Lord is, is, is great, man. Without the Lord, what are we? A bunch of fools on the earth, man, basically. But through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh, Shai, you know, he make, he makes the, the simple ones wise, man. The ones that have no understanding, he can uh, make you the wisest man in the earth. So, let me go back. Job 38 and 25. Who, the, who had divided a water course for the overflowing of waters? Because, you know, who is the one, if you have a river, the river stays uh, if it's shaped in a certain uh, form. That's according to the, uh, to the Most High, man. To his will. Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai is the ultimate, the ultimate uh, architect. You know, he, uh, the Lord created everything. If, you, if you're specific, you're going to Yahweh Shai and, uh, you know, the angels. But the Lord gave, uh, he's the ultimate mind, the mastermind, so to say, the Heavenly Father Yahweh. So, who had divided the water course for the overflowing of waters or a way for the lightning of thunder. You know, the Lord is the one that, that directs the thunder, that makes the snow fall down, that makes uh, the rain fall down, that waters the plants and such. You see? Let me even go into that. Let me see. Isaiah 55, verse 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, said the Lord Yahweh. And also for people that are, oh, it's not fair. This is such a sweet woman. Yeah, they were all sweet. You know? Let me jump into Job chapter 4, verse 7. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished, being innocent. Whoever perished being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? And also, let the Lord do what the Lord does, man, judging righteously. You need to be thinking like, hey, like the scriptures say, man, you know, we were complaining to, uh, to the Lord uh, that the Lord's ways were uh, not equal. The Lord answered, are not your ways, uh, uh, you know, unequal? Check yourself, man. Because for the outside world, a lot of people believe that, you know, in, before you really knew what was going on, you believe the WWF was a real thing, man. Or that soap opera actors were actually, uh, you know, y'all were jumping in these storylines, man. Yeah, you shouldn't be, you know, 
cheating on such and such. You shouldn't be doing this, that, and the third. And cheating is, uh, you know, that's that's the thing that this society brings. You could commit adultery. That's uh, um, that's like the what they say that cheating is. Or oh, you going with another woman? That's not that's not adultery unless she belongs to another man. And a woman that goes out with another man while she has a man, that's adultery. You know? So that old cheating thing, like, man, yeah, he's a cheating baby. But, you know, to these soap operas, all these things are being, you know, fortified in people's minds, man. In the minds of the simple. And they actually, when they see certain actors, they, they even get mad about and emotional about what this guy, you know, did on the screen, man. So that's how powerful the, the, the television is, man. It's one of the greatest weapons that Esau has, man. To keep, to keep you uh, all docile, you know, in a certain state of mind that Esau wants you to be in. One time you're, you're a thug, then you're, or, you know, a fruitcake. Then you uh, need to dress this way, then you need to dress that way. Come on, man. So... Isaiah 55, verse 9, For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goeth uh, forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void. But it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing where whereto I sent it. And this is what it is, man. So the Lord does everything according to His will, and He's the one that uh, makes sure that uh, everything is watered, and also for the men of the Lord that they are watered, uh, that they are uh, like a tree planted by the water, so always um, taken care of. With knowledge, wisdom, understanding, you know, even, you know, your daily bread, everything, man. Because a tree planted near the water got, got everything, man. So, and that's a, that's a beautiful blessing, man. And here, yeah, I, I was thinking about this because... The Lord also used thunder and rain to scare, to, hey, to basically scare us straight, man, back in the days. Because it's a very scary thing. A lot of people, they are afraid of the thunder, of the, of, uh, of the storms that the Most High releases. And it is a very fearful thing, man. So 1 Samuel chapter 12, verse 17 is it not wheat harvest today? I will call unto the Lord Yahweh, and he shall send thunder and rain, that ye may perceive and see that your wickedness is great, which ye have done in the sight of the Lord Yahweh, in asking you a king. Because this is in the time of Samuel, and our people were, you know, they wanted the king, and, you know, which the Lord, he is our king. If you go to verse... Um, 13. I don't want to go in all into this, but just let me see. Well, it's like it was uh, a little bit more. Uh, what was it? Uh, let me see. Yeah, it was in 12. This is if I jump from uh, 1 Samuel chapter 12, verse 12. And when you saw that. And Nahash, the king of the children of Ammon, the, the so-called Japanese, came against you. Ye said unto me, Nay, but a king shall reign over us when the Lord Yahweh, your power, was your king. You see, so the Lord is our king. And even if you jump down, and you see it again, that it is a, uh, um, that it is a wicked thing if you go all the way down. Because the Lord is our king. And now we have, of course, we have Yahweh Shai being the king of kings. You know, uh, this under the, this being the son of the Heavenly Father. 
you know, he being a prince and a savior for whom? For the children of Israel. But yeah, he's under the Lord. He's not the king over the heavenly father, Yahweh, but he is the king over all the kings everywhere that are made of flesh and blood. You know, and let me go on. And also, of course, the angels, demons, he re-ruled over them too. So, let me um, go on with verse 18. So Samuel called unto the Lord Yahweh, and the Lord Yahweh sent thunder and rain that day. And all the people greatly feared the Lord and Samuel. And that's why they, this is not a joke, man. And also because the Lord, uh, Samuel was warning them, like, hey, I'm going to pray to the Lord. And hey, if he, he will send you uh, uh, thunder and rain. And that's basically, uh, you see now that the Lord shows Israel like, y'all, indeed, y'all are wicked. So then the, the great fear was, was up in the minds, in the in, uh, in, in, in the multitude of the people that were there. The Lord is not to be messing around with, man. And all the people of, uh, and all the people, you know, the, all uh, our people, Israel, said unto Samuel, pray for thy servants unto the Lord thy power, Yahweh, that we die not. And that's how scary it is. For we have added unto all our sins this evil to ask us a king. You see? So, let me go on. So, you see that the ones that were with Samuel, they were scared straight. <laughs> you know? And the Lord ain't joking around. Because still, if we would have uh, uh, went off, what would the Lord do? Verse 25, but if ye still do wickedly by going aside, turning away from the Lord, ye shall be consumed, both you, both ye and your king. So you, your king ain't going to save you. The Lord is going to save you. You know, and then King Saul started to reign, and you know, <laughs> and that's the that's what you get, man, for asking, you want a king? Okay, then, then you get a king that is... Uh, not very pleasant to see. So, Psalm 68 and 20. He that is our power is the power of salvation. And unto Yahweh, the Lord, belong the issues from death. So, if you get struck by lightning, bow. It is the Lord that done it. Because that's also... You know, shall there be evil in the city? <laughs> and the Lord had not done it. The Lord had smoked you, man. So don't play around with the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Basham Yahweh Shai, man. Don't do it. So with that, I'd like to say Shalom.